Welcome folks to what is Castle Coon this morning and uh, I'm here today, uh, probably not on the best of days to be fair, but I'm here to shoot black and white with the uh, Intrepid 4x5 in its native 4x5 because that's all I've got left now is uh, about 12 sheets of uh, Delta 100 4x5 so I'm going to shoot um, a few frames of it today around Castle Coon and see what we can get. As you can see Positions aren't the best, it's just starting to rain as well, which is a bit annoying. But I'm going to start the day with the easy shot, which is, or the one that everybody always shoots, which is from this bridge behind me, looking up the, uh, up the high street. As you can see, there is a few people about today, which is a little bit annoying. I should have got here a bit earlier and had a bit of peace, and, uh, or had the place to myself anyway. But anyway, I'm going to get on and shoot. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so I managed to get one shot away then, uh, just as the place was clear. There's actually a guy stood, or he sat, uh, drawing, I think, these houses behind me, as you can see them. And uh, it's a real nice shot. He's just sat on the bridge nicely. Um, and I just managed to get it while the rest of the road is clear. So, yeah, really happy with that shot. So hopefully that comes out. But now the, the road is just full of people again. And they've really chosen the wrong time. It should have been about two hours earlier, really, uh, to shoot this. But um, I sort of got out of bed, not expecting to have any decent sun this morning. So I uh, didn't think the time mattered. But... And I thought, because it's a Tuesday after a bank holiday, that it might be quite quiet, but it's not. It's, uh, it's pretty busy here, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, it means I'm going to have to just pick my shots carefully and uh, work with what I've got here. So um, I'm going to turn the camera this way in a minute towards these houses. There isn't anyone on the other side in these houses looking quite nice. So I'm going to try and get another shot here. And then I'm going to turn my uh, attention to these houses to the side of me. So, yeah, I've got 250mm lens on. Uh, I'm F20 two and two thirds and that was fourth for a second let's say delta 100 so yeah we'll see what else we can get okay so finally managed to get a uh, second shot there with nobody in the street So I'm going to move positions now and try and get these houses here. So I'm just going to set up again and I'll uh, switch the camera back on then. That's two shots in the bag. Okay, so just taking a shot there. Again, Delta 100 uh, settings were 22 and two thirds, one fourth of a second. And I've uh, just captured these uh, nice buildings in the background, as you can see here. Um, just like the, red, uh, the white building, red door, and then next to the two brick buildings. And then I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this um, building here has got like a nice sort of frontage to it. So yeah, just taking this, uh, this shot here, uh, 135 mil lens. And I'm going to turn my direction over there in a minute and catch a, uh, something with the uh, 180mm lens. I've used every lens today. But yeah, just going to take another shot here and then redirect my camera over there. Okay, so I have two shots taken of this next location. Um, again, Delta 100 settings were F22 and two thirds, and that was eighth of a second. So the sun's just started to appear now, uh, which is a bit unfortunate because I'm pointing right at it now. So I've had to just shield the top of the lens as I've uh, taken this shot, but that's two there. But um, yeah, it's definitely getting busy here. So anyway, I'm going to move on up the street and see what else I can find. 
Okay, so next shot is, if I get out of the way, is the old post office here, which uh, has got the old post box on the wall and then the uh, the sign just saying the old post um, old post office. So I'm going to capture this now. Um, again, it's Delta 100. I've got a 180 more lens and um, hopefully we can capture some of decent from this. So I'm all set up here. Um, I'm just going to load the film in now and get the shot taken. So hopefully this comes out. Right, I'm going to get on and shoot this now. Uh, settings are f16, two thirds, and eight for a second. I just had to wait for the guy who lives in the uh, the old post office to move. So I've just done that now, and I'm going to get on and take these couple of shots. And then I've literally got two left after this. Uh, I'm going to move on up the road and see what else I can find. So let's get these shots taken. That's it. Shot number one in the bag. Just going to flip it around now and take a second shot just in case there's any issues with that first one so let's get that in there like i say it's busy here it's difficult working in these conditions and uh it's because usually i like to come to a place and there's absolutely no one about but uh i got out of bed too late so that's my own fault and i've only got myself to blame uh, if i'd have got here about half seven i probably would have had a couple of hours with absolutely nobody here but um never mind I say it's my own fault so I'll work with what I've got. Plus, I'm not, not, I don't really like talking to the camera when there's loads of other people about as well, but uh, I'm getting used to it, so yeah, that's what it is. Right. Let's get on and take this uh, next one. Second shot taken. Plenty of tour guides here. That's just one behind me, and I'm learning things being here myself. I did, I've just uh, learnt some stuff there, just listening to <laughs> that outlet uh, I didn't know. So, anyway, there we go. Right, two shots taken. I'm going to move on up the street now and probably get one for the top of the street facing back sort of that way which is quite a famous shot for here again two the two most famous shots you're going to see from this village is one from that bridge that's just over there and the other one is from the top of the high street looking back down uh, down the high street so i'm going to try and get that again it's just depending on how many people are about so um let's give that a go so yeah i'm gonna pack up here move down there so i'll see you in a second right so just walking up the hill found a real nice shot um which is this one here which is the old rectory cottage with this tree sort of growing over the doorway and the bunting just been the um uh, coronation weekend so uh, people have still got their bunting out from that and this just looks real nice looks real english sort of cottage it's just starting to rain now as well which is annoying um but yeah i think i'm going to take one shot here so i've only got two left so i'm going to take one shot here and move on up the road and just see if there's one more left for me which there will be definitely um i'm just going to put a dark bag or dark cloth over the camera just to protect it from the rain for the moment but yeah i'm going to get this uh 180 more lens and um just a real simple shot here I should say on the last shot that i took down there i did introduce a little bit of shift um because what i was finding was the uh there was a doorway right in the corner and uh, the, the letterbox and the angle I was on trying to get the letterbox in and to be able to see the sign I just had to shift the lens slightly um, just so you could see the sign and and get the post box and not the distracted door on the other side so uh, yeah just introduce a little bit of shift there to get get rid of that but yeah right I'm gonna get this focused in we'll get the shot taken so I'll see you in a minute okay last one of the two shots I've got left so settings for this one are uh, f16 and 15th for a second and what i've done is instead of moving the tripod i've actually just shifted the lens across to get the door in the center of the frame um and it does get the uh, majority of that tree and there's a little bit on that side it doesn't get in but it gets the majority of the tree so really excited for this shot um so i'm going to take this now while there isn't anyone around so make sure everything works all right so it does I need to get myself a new cable release because this one isn't uh keeps sticking now so i need to get another another few more Okay, let's get this taken. Okay, 
That's it then, that's that shot in the bag. Um, and I'm gonna move on that there now and just see what I can get with this last shot I've got. So yeah, hopefully that turns out. Right, so I've decided to photograph one of the uh, village pubs that's here. This is the Castle Inn, it's right in front of me. And what I've had to do is literally to get this in the shot, because I haven't got my 90mm lens with me, I've only got my uh, 135 at widest. Um, so I've had to like post myself right against this wall, uh, as you can probably see here. And uh, just to try and get this in, I'm not, I love the scene in front of me, um, but I'm not too sure that I can capture this on camera. It's just one of them shots that you sort of look at and think, oh, it's a beautiful scene, but making it work is going to be difficult. So, okay, so just to give you a sense of what I'm looking at here. Um, so this is the scene and you've got this lovely pub with a purple door. Now I know I'm shooting black and white, so that's pretty much irrelevant, but I love the bunting at the top. Again, just celebrating the uh, coronation that we had over the weekend and just the seats outside and the uh, just the overall scene of this. I like the fact there's an open window up there and a minute ago this door was open um, and it's shut now which is a little bit annoying I, uh, that would have been better if it was open um, so yes yeah, so that's a little bit disappointing but i'm going to get on and shoot this now so i've had i've changed to my 135 mil lens uh, again i'm shooting delta 100 i've not metered yet i've just uh, literally uh, focused in on the uh, on the scene so i'm going to go on and do some metering now and then uh yeah i just wanted to show you guys the scene i was looking at so this is what i'm hoping to capture fingers crossed okay so all set up now and uh, just ready to shoot i've metered in and i've gone for f16 and one third which gives me 15th for a second i've already checked the shutter um i'm just in two minds of this scene at the moment whether to go and see if i can open that door and take the shot or whether just to leave it as it is um i think i should probably leave it as it is and um, just take the shot as it is because I don't really like interfering with scenes. I have done it a couple of times in the past, but I'd rather just leave it um, as it is and just capture that moment in time as it is at the moment. But I couldn't have taken it when the door was open because um, this is, I'm guessing this is the in part of it or the B&B &B part of it. Uh, there was a car parked in front of it. So um, I couldn't get it without the car. And then of course, when the people left, they shut the door behind them, which is a bit of a shame, but um, yeah, just would have been nice to have had that door open. But anyway, I'm going to get on and shoot this shot. This is the last one. Rain's just been on and off. Sun is just making a bit of an appearance. So yeah, let's get this last shot taken. That's it, last one in the bag. All done. So I hope you enjoyed the video, really enjoyed today, just getting out, there's been no stress, I've had eight, eight shots with um, Delta 100, just in this beautiful village in Castle Coombe, and I've uh, been here loads of times before, I've walked around, there's a massive uh, walk you can do around here which is really nice, uh, but I thought today, you know what, I'm just going to park at the bottom of the village and I'm just going to walk up, I'm going to see what I can get with my, um, uh, my 4x5 with just some sheets of Delta. So it's been a little bit challenging with all the people that have been milling around. This is a real popular village. Should have got here a couple of hours earlier, but never mind, doesn't matter. I've still got some really good shots, or I think I'm hoping I've got some really good shots. And I just really enjoyed it. It's just been really peaceful. So if you've liked the video, uh, please leave a like to it and a subscription to the channel would be absolutely amazing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.